What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Lil Mike Mike 6 and I'm back, but this time with some Mortal Kombat X gameplay and I promised you guys I will be uploading some Mortal Kombat. Uh, some people are pretty happy about this since I know some people probably won't like it, but uh, it's my channel and I really want to upload what I enjoy and I actually do like this game. I like it a lot. Uh, it's not really too much like Mortal Kombat 9, like it doesn't feel as buggy as Mortal Kombat 9. It feels like everything connects a little better. Um, it does feel a little slower paced though. It doesn't feel as quick as some 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 of the previous like Mortal Kombat. Uh, it, it feels a little bit sluggish kind of, but it is in, it's most definitely fun. Uh, some of the combos are pretty hard to pull off. Well, they're not that hard. They're pretty easy. I pull them off, and you'll see in this video. But it, it doesn't seem like they do a lot of damage. Like the combos in this game doesn't seem like they do a lot of damage. But um, at the end of the video, if you guys stick around. And you watch the end of the video, you guys will see my combat record. So you'll see that I'm actually pretty good in Mortal Kombat uh, so far. I've been beasting a lot of people. I've been doing people really bad. Uh, and not everybody sucks uh, on here. I've played some really good players who I've beaten. So uh, I've beaten a couple people in ranked matches. My record right now is 40 and 5. So I've won 40 matches and only lost 5. And I have the combat record. Uh, the current combat record to prove to you guys that that is my current record right now it's at the end of the video and uh, I pretty much play anybody whoever challenges me challenges me I play them uh, some of my friends who used to dominate me in injustice uh, they won't even play me in this game yet they, they, they want to get a lot of practice like uh, there's this one guy that I, I used to play him all the time and he would always beat me in injustice he won't even play me in here because he saw me in the practice lobby when it first came out I live streamed uh, a lot of people probably didn't catch it, but I live streamed on Ustream, and I was just completely, completely doing some nasty-looking combos. I mean, he was like, he was like, "Nah, I'm not gonna play you." And as soon as he got the game, he was like, "Nah, I'm good." But a lot of people were asking me like, "Why are you online already? Why are you already playing online?" I mean, me, I'm a quick learner. I'm a really fast learner. I don't learn my combos from YouTube videos, and that's one of the reasons why I think a lot of people. Uh, I think a lot of people are really struggling to learn combos and stuff like that because they wait they wait to somebody comes out on YouTube with some kind of combo compilation or something like that or some kind of upload of combos to uh, start doing combos and look at this this guy just quits and I get the quitality right there you guys probably thought it froze up or whatever but that's, that's what happens when somebody quits their head busts open and then it says quitality but uh, a lot of people like to wait and um see everybody else's combos and learn from like youtubers and stuff like that not me i go and create my own combos i learn create my own moves set of combinations and everything like that because not everything is a universal not everybody can create moves that work for specific situations i create moves myself combos myself so then that way they're easier to get off um, for me, for me at least, because a combo that might be hard for me might be easy for you, or a combo that might be easy for me might be hard for you. So um, I create my own combos. I've always done this. I've always created my own. A lot of people are like, uh, "Where'd you, where'd you learn those combos from?" What? And I didn't really do any heavy, heavy combos on here. I might do a combo compilation just to show people, because it's kind of hard to get them started sometimes, like, like especially early on, because people kind of just spam and they don't really know what they're doing. So uh, it makes it really hard to get a combo off, because people, so a lot of, I've come across a lot of spammers. And uh, I don't know if I played any spammers in any of these videos here, but I know it was definitely some, some spammers. I played a bunch of spammers who really don't know what they're doing. But uh, well, Ermac and Scorpion so far are my two characters that I've been playing with. I've done a little Kung Lao, and somehow I played with Kung Lao, and I was beasting with Kung Lao at one point, but I'm not that good with Kung Lao. I haven't really taught myself any combinations. I was just kind of button mashing, to be honest. But um, with Ermac and uh, Scorpion, I, I pretty much, I don't want to say I know them completely, but I know a little bit of them. And... Uh, a lot of people don't know how to do some of the fatalities, like the uh, brutality, the um, the faction kill, or like uh, the fatalities, easy fatality, or whatever. I haven't done any easy fatalities yet. I've always done, I've done them all myself. Like I just kind of input the buttons. But for the brutality, it's a certain amount of 
like things that you have to meet to do a brutality and at the end of the video you guys will see me perform a brutality with Kung Lao uh, I met the certain standards that you needed to meet to do the specific brutality and that's all you have to do is just finish the the last hit has to be whatever the move is that goes into brutality and it, it's it's pretty cool but um i kind of wish that they made it kind of like mortal kombat uh, i think it was mortal kombat 3 where you could do a brutality and you just like your character would just start hitting them a whole lot and you do like a 30 30 40 hits like combo or something like that and then finish it off like that. I thought I kind of wish they did brutalities like that. Kind of like finish them and then, you know, you just put the buttons in for the effect of brutality. I thought that would have been a lot cooler than what they actually did with it, but I mean, it's 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 still pretty cool. And um, if you guys are struggling to perform the faction kills cuz a lot of people really don't know how to do the faction kills. They don't give you a lot of details and there's hardly anything online uh, to that really will tell you how to do it. And I've had I've seen a lot of people ask me like how do you do the faction kill because I'm doing them constantly So people are always asking me like how do you do the faction kill? How do you do the faction kill? All you have to do is go far as you can away from the other character Just go far on the map put yourself within far range and then input the buttons that uh, That show up for the faction whichever faction kill you're trying to do like you can go all the way back for mines is for uh, you hold R2 and press forward forward uh, far away from the enemy and then it'll activate the faction kill and uh, or you can do back back after you hold R2 of course you hold R2 and then hit back back or you can do one I think it's like a uh, forward back forward or it's either back forward back or something like that I just keep pushing forward back forward back forward back until eventually it does it when I do that one because I don't know I can't remember it sometimes and I just figure it's so easy to do but um Ermac has some of the he has like one of the coolest uh, fatalities which is the one that he's doing right now I love this fatality I love doing it to people I know how to do both of his fatalities I actually so far I actually know how to do everybody's fatality I've done everybody's fatality I've already played the full story mode um, I've done a lot since this game has come out so far I've performed everybody's uh, fatality and I gotta say there's some really cool looking fatality there's one character who who has like a really lame fatality I think it's Kano but uh, one character has a really lame one. It's just like, ah, that's it. But um, I like Scorpions. And Scorpion is, was actually the first character that I played with. I actually recorded the very first match of me on here. I didn't upload it on here just because I didn't want to. I wanted to put out something decent. Uh, like something just kind of giving my opinion on everything in, in Mortal Kombat so far. Um kind of like if you should buy it or whatever and look at this i pull off a flawless victory right here on this johnny cage and that's not the first uh flawless victory i got and, and it's definitely not going to be the last flawless you guys probably i think you're going to see another flawless in this same video but uh i did a flawless on goro i even flawless someone in a ranked match so that was pretty cool um I've, I've been doing I, and one of these matches are actually a, a ranked match and then some of the other ones are pubs but I just so so far I've been dominating people and I think it's possibly because a lot of people really haven't learned the game yet and I have played against somebody who was really 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 good this dude knew how to do resets and I gotta say two of the most OP characters in this game one of them has to be Cassie Cage and the other one has to be Ermac now uh, I don't know what the name of the variation that he was using, but Cassie Cage has a variation where you can lock on to someone and then shoot a, like a like a rocket at them after you lock on. It's kind of like uh, Lex Luthor's lock on from Injustice. It's, it's almost the same exact thing. And I got to admit, uh, this dude was doing some resets and everything. I've, I mean, I didn't think that people would learn it so quickly. And it's funny because... He actually, this was actually the first guy I played as soon as I got online, the very first time. I bought the game. I went in the practice lobby uh, for one hour. I did. I gave myself one hour of practice with Scorpion. I pretty much learned enough with him uh, just to where I could do some nice combos or whatever. And I, I created my combos pretty quick. The guy that was I was supposed to play, he was actually laughing because he was watching me create my combos and he was laughing because uh he was like man you're catching on quick you're learning combos quick and he was even giving me tips on uh some of the stuff that i could possibly do and 
I guess he thought that it was going to be a lot easier to perform the combos uh, than what they actually were. I don't know. He said he played it before, but uh, he he haven't played me yet. So once once I play him, then it will be a you know. But he said he saw someone do a 51%, and honestly, guys, I do not see anybody pulling off no 50%. If uh, if I see somebody pulling off a 50, then hey, props to him because this game. It seems like it's really, really, really hard to pull off high damage combos so far. Um, I've only played with a few characters though, so maybe it's just those specific characters like Scorpion and Ermac. They really don't do a lot of damage. Like the most I've done with Ermac was like 35%, and uh, that was a corner combo so far. And then the most I've done with Scorpion has been like maybe 25, 28%, something like that. And Scorpion's combos are really simple. They're really easy for me to do. I can pull his combos off like they're nothing. Uh, and then, the, I mean, but you can get more damage simply using your X-Ray like this guy did here. And I, I catch that a lot. A lot of people are hitting me with X-Rays. I'm getting caught with X-Rays left and right because I, I don't think anybody truly knows how to play this game just yet. <laughs> A lot of people really don't block yet. I mean, so I haven't come across a lot of people blocking. And that's one of the reasons why I think it's so easy to, like, beat people. Look at this. <laughs> I was just kind of playing around right here. And I just say, you know what? Let me just go ahead and uh, perform this little faction kill. Because I was going to miss the, fa the fatality right there. And that's a faction kill. Uh, to do that one, all you have to do is go all the way far away from the screen. And then just push for, uh, R hold R2 and press forward forward. Um, I know how to do the other one where... I, and I, oh, yeah. And if you guys don't know... I'm in the Lin Kuei, so that's the faction that I'm in is Lin Kuei. And yes, guys, don't like spend three hours at the faction uh, menu when you first buy the game, like trying to figure out what faction you want to be in because you're not stuck there forever. You can actually change factions. I thought it was going to be one of those things where you got to pick a faction and then you're with that faction forever until you get a different profile or whatever. But uh, you can change your faction, so. Uh, just pick one quickly or whatever and then just kind of switch through and me i just chose Lin Kuei, and eventually i will like switch and i think everybody should switch up because you can do different faction kills uh, depending on which one you're in and then on top of that once you reach level 50 it that'll be like the perfect time to switch when you're in level 50 with that faction uh, you can switch factions because uh you can get the trophy there's a trophy for playing like leveling up every faction of level five and then there's also a trophy i believe for doing every faction kill in each faction i believe so um that's something i was going to try out and then I, I think there's like a there's a bunch of trophies and i'm really going to try to go and become like a trophy hunter in this game and try to unlock every trophy i don't know if i'll be able to do it or not because i mean it's not hard to do but it's just the dedication that you would have to put forward to try to unlock everything that, that that's what will get me and so far i've already beaten the story mode and i gotta say the story mode is amazing in this game uh, it kind of goes like the way that the, somebody told me what was going to happen in the story and the way that they described it was like kind of bad because they said like oh this character is bad now this character is bad they kind of like did them justice honestly they they did the story right to me they did it pretty good I like the way the story was and look at this your boy just loved doing this this fatality i know how to do his other one i do it all the time but i i prefer to do this one this one looks a lot cooler i guess it just kind of looks like it's a, like a squid or something he pulls it out and it looks like a little squid and uh Ermac is just nasty i mean his combos are pretty nasty and i like this listen to this do you harbor shokan souls not yet round I had the, the, I know the volume's pretty low on it, but that that little speech scene right there is pretty funny. He's like, uh, "Do you collect sh uh, Shokan souls?" And he, he's like, "Not yet." <laughs> That's so funny to me. I, I just love some of the like scenes like that, and I hate when people just automatically tap X. Like the game just come out, so there's no way you could have possibly seen all the combinations of what these characters say so it kind of frustrates me when people tap x but i love watching them i wish that every, both characters had to tap x to like skip past them i would watch them all because they're pretty funny i actually enjoyed that about injustice i actually watched because i think injustice had over like an hour of like just introductions like where people just kind of go in and they had over an hour of 
just those little introductions right there. And I watched every single last one of them. I thought they were pretty cool. And it took forever just to watch them all when you, whenever you're playing the game. And I think hopefully somebody uh, like a YouTuber makes one for this game showing all of the characters. And look at this. This is the other flawless victory that I was talking about right here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pull off a fatality on him if I can get it. And here it is right here. But uh, my favorite little fatality. Crunch him up. And then the Squidward ribs. <laughs> but uh, I forgot what I was going to say just that quick. But anyways, this game is really cool. The story mode is really nice. Uh, it's kind of set up wild. And then there's a little thing at the end. Once you beat the game, if you play the game, I don't want to spoil the story mode for you guys. But... Once you beat the game, once the credits all roll, stay there and just keep watching the screen and watch what happens after the credits roll. It is absolutely crazy. It sets you up for the next Mortal Kombat. So when they come out with Mortal Kombat, uh, I'm guessing Mortal Kombat 11. Once they come out with Mortal Kombat 11, it kind of sets the story up for the next big villain. And it is somebody who I don't even... It's I'll just put it like this. It's somebody who we're used to being... Who we're used to seeing in Mortal Kombat. Uh, they are, they also did some nice things. Like they did something I really didn't want to see because now it kind of like ruined some of the characters, like things about them. Like Scorpion, they kind of changed him up and brought him. I don't want to like ruin it for you guys because I know some people actually like it, but they did some stuff to Scorpion, uh, some some major changes to Scorpion, his his mentality, and I, I mean. His moves actually don't go with him. Not well. It's, I, the only way I could say it is if I spoil it. So if you guys play the game and you watch it, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But I think everything else is pretty cool in here. And look at this. This is actually the match where I get the brutality. And I was just kind of doing anything, just random stuff. I really, truly, honestly don't know how to play with Kung Lao. Honestly, I was just trying stuff. And throughout the story mode, I found the story mode to be pretty easy to beat. Uh, there were some parts where I thought I was going to lose a match, but I actually beat the whole story mode without losing a single match, which was pretty cool. But uh, there were some parts that were really, really difficult, and I thought I was going to lose. I came really close to losing a couple times. Uh, they give you some difficult matchups on, on the story mode. Like, some of the characters in the matchups, they're, they're really difficult. They give you, like, bad variations. Like, the variations they let you use really aren't the best variations. So look at that. That's the... Uh, brutality right there with Kung Lao and this is her here's my final matchup and then you guys will see my combat record but uh your boy got the, the nice little air Mac right here playing against a little Johnny Cage again and we're up per pretty much look at this watch this I'm gonna throw the old lady right there it's kind of funny you can throw her but it's, it's kind of jacked up it's kind of sad to throw her. every time I get right there I just kind of throw her and uh, that just kind of kills her. But there's actually a trophy for that. So if you guys are playing this specific map right here, uh, throw that old lady right there by simply tapping R1 or the right button for Xbox. Which I don't think anybody ever plays Mortal Kombat on the Xbox anyways. I think the majority players play on PlayStation uh, anyways. But if you do, then more power to you. I actually started Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe on Xbox. So if you play on Xbox... And you know, but I mean, it was only because the, the console was released before PS. Uh, I think it was before PlayStation 3 was, so I got a chance to play that on Xbox first, and then I switched over to PlayStation 3 as soon as PlayStation 3 came out. But and I'm not giving crap to uh, Xbox. It's just the controller for Xbox 360 was a lot difficult. Uh, they were really, really hard to use for fighting games specifically. I only really use them for sports games. Uh, or like Call of Duty or whatever, then those are pretty good. But for fighting games, it's really difficult to be accurate with button mashing or whatever, or specific button tapping or whatever you need to do to put in certain combinations or whatever. But so far, Mortal Kombat 9 uh, X, sorry, I almost said Mortal Kombat 9. It looks pretty good so far. It feels pretty good. I like it. Uh, only time will tell when we start finding like people doing infinites and glitches and stuff like that. If that, if the if they're even in the game so far i don't know but uh i want to thank guys for watching checking out my video that's my last faction kill right there it's pretty easy to do um 
Here's my combat record. I want to thank guys for watching. Checking out my video and peace.